All right, let's begin. Uh, play another uh, character. This time we're playing a Narmator, um, which is supposed to be a Narmadillo Tor. Um, so kind of a hybrid. Uh, Armator. Skilled mammals the size of horses. Armators are fast rolling, well protected, and great potion drinkers. They like dexterity and scroll reading speed. Um, that's what they do. So, Armator. Not Reaver, not Reaver. Um, I think we can go for something simple like a fighter. The recommended uh, is Betty Lackluster. Um, I wonder if I should start Warper. Nah, probably not. Is there any way to view the server standings other than finishing the game or dying? Uh, I think so. You can probably search something on Akrasiak or Kelby. Yes, it's uh, the rework of Palentonga. Um, Armator is Palentonga without the roll, with better aptitudes, with other things, you know, things that actually make you want to start um, an, um, an Armator, unlike with Palentonga. Um, yeah, Palentonga was just, it was never good. Uh, it, the things that it needed to have to be good were um, better aptitudes, better HP, or better armor class. It didn't really get either of those. So playing a Palentonga was always an unpleasant experience, in my opinion. Um, from the simple uh, list, it was among the worst, I think. Yeah, the aptitudes for Palentonga were like zero or worse on, on everything, including like minus in armor and dodging. It was like really, really bad. Um, how do you view the server standings? Um, you might want to go to the web page of the server. I think it might appear there. Mm. Mm. No defenses either. Yeah, they just didn't have anything going for them. Uh, no defenses, no HP, mm, three bad ranged options. Um, and I guess they did have damage, but it's like melee damage. Melee damage is the worst kind of damage that you can have, um, even though it is infinite. It is still melee damage on a species that has bad melee, uh, because it has bad defenses. So yeah, they were never good. Mm. Armatar should get better, should be better, because um, they have good aptitudes. Mm. Several missing item slots. Yeah, they didn't have boots. I think they they had the form body, so less uh, armor class. Uh, I think that Armator still has the form body, um, and they also don't have boots, but they have much better aptitudes. Mm. I'm gonna go for a very classic vanilla fighter. As you can see, they have minus one, minus two in weapons. I'm gonna go for a flail. Yeah, I'm gonna go for for a flail. Um, 2189. Mm, gonna train only maces for a while. I think then maces might get the job done. Um, we can probably get them fighting too, and then focus on getting like 15 armor. I think, like, I anticipate that uh, will be uh, what's necessary. You don't see anything in the lobby that re refers to server standings. Mm, it might be difficult. Yeah, I, when it comes to server standings, I, I haven't really looked at them myself. Uh, but anyway, Rock the Brown Scales. Uh, so they get plus 7% HP, just like Palentonga did. Armor fits poorly in your strangely shaped body. You have a long armor tail. You roll to when moving towards enemies, plus Rampage. Um, rampaging forward and additional space. Mm. Your long tongue fully drains potion bottles, double potion effects. Uh, your tongue gives you trouble enunciating. One plus five uh, times a scroll delay. Yep, uh, your tongue is very floppy, giving you trouble when reading the arcane syllables encoded on magical scrolls. As such, a scrolls take you half again as long to read. Mm. Yeah, pretty good. Double potion effects. Yes, and when it says double potion effects, it truly means double potion effects. It means double potion of experience if you happen to find one of those. Um, so yeah, you might want to keep that in mind. Uh, it also means double potion of degen, so perhaps don't go around drinking random potions. Um, 
Devil Potion sounds obscenely strong if you find re if you find experience. So fingers crossed is what I can say. Fingers crossed. If we find experience, that would be funny. Oh, scale mail of cold resistance. So we're beginning with uh, some pretty decent things to find. Uh, yeah, strangely shaped body still. That's a bit of a shame. Um, that halves the amount of armor class that you get from like base armor class that you get from um, body armor. So plate is not gonna be good. Plate is gonna be giving you the same amount of armor class that uh, ring mail would give to a normal character. Mm. What if you go Gosag? Do those effect double? Uh, probably not. Because with Gosag is not you drinking potions. If it was like that, it would be... Um, um, like, uh, the reason why I'm thinking that is because Mommy can use Gosag effect uh, on potions. So it would be weird if those effects from potions got enhanced by this mutation. Uh, though it is probably worth experimenting, I don't think it is the case based on the mommy thing that I already mentioned. Uh, it feels weird to not be super slow when moving. Oh, wow! Oh, I just found an amulet of region. Also, Wizard Ike, thank you for the raid, I appreciate it. Um, I hope that you had a good time on your stream, I'm assuming that you were playing Crawl. Um, I hope everything went well, and uh, as you can see, I am playing an Armator now, I just finished my uh, Baraki Reaver, got a 1-1 one -one with my Baraki Reaver, went pretty well, gonna get some strength. I think this is the, um, the kind of character that probably should just level up strength. Um, Maybe they messed up, who knows. Chebriados, Kaslal, or Fedas? Uh, how about no? Kaslal is awful. Kaslal is one of the worst gods in the game, so I don't want to risk myself um, by going Kaslal. I can kill Terence. Terence had a scale mail, but was nothing in comparison to my uh, incredible 23 strength by D2. Man, these guys do start with a lot of strength. Um... Okay, I read identify. Um, so I wonder if this um, if this mutation that they have the minus scroll. Well, the blue division. It's not really blue division. It's um, it's blue division, but for but for these guys. I wonder if um, if it has the same effect as the old blue division mutation. Because what it did is what that it made you wait 1.5 turns, and then it gave you the effect of whatever scroll um, you were trying to use. That was the bad thing about that mutation. I don't know if these guys have that. Um, I think it might be worth checking out or like experimenting. Mm. You tried Almator. Uh, you find it okay but didn't manage to win. I see. What kind of Armator were you playing? Were you playing a mage Armator? Or was it a more traditional Armator fighter, like the one that I am playing right now? Um, oh boy, that could be an issue. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Uh, I am too young to be fighting Sigmund. So, um, I wonder if I can make it to the stars. I think Sigmund is at the edge of the screen. Um, so Sigmund needs to walk forward to catch up to me. Mm, so I'm not at risk of getting confused or anything. Alright. Uh, that's fine. We've been finding a lot of books. Uh, we even got Stone Arrow already. The thing about that is that I don't want to be casting. Um, I want to be meleeing things. Um, I think that I'm going to go Kawaru with this character. Mm. I have to tell you that I don't... Uh, and I don't uh, look forward to the time where, like, my early game stuff starts to fail, as it usually tends to do. Um, yeah, um, these guys might be similar to Troll in in the sense that they start the early game like really, really strong, but the more the game progresses, the the more um, they are weakened. Mm. But we shall see. Maybe uh, maybe it's not the case. By the way, I probably should go into this thing, since I already found it. Mm. Okay, some endoplasms. 
There we go. Uh, you may have noticed that I'm using this short sword of Venom. I think that it is a pretty great item to to use um, on every character. Uh, an early game short blade of Venom is just like insanely strong. I'm still training maces, but for now I'll use this. Um, I'll switch back to my flail eventually. The roll thingy, like, or I guess the rampaging, um, is pretty strong. Ouch, okay, this guy's killing me. Let me switch to the flail because this guy is not poisonable. Mm. We found a scroll of identify. Okay. Um, I think it didn't um, make the time pass before I got the scroll effects. So it is significantly less bad than minus a scroll used to be. Or like, not minus a scroll, blue division. Mm. You did a fighter because the casting aptitudes looked bad. Minus ones, uh, my, uh, minus two spell casting, zero translocations. Yeah, not too much to my liking. I think a good thing about um, the ogre aptitudes is that like it's very similar to those, except that it has one instead of minus two in spell casting. I think that's what makes. Um, the entire difference. Is this a Jiba? Ooh. Oh, 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 I have to. Like, I cannot say no to Jiba. I ha if I find early Jiba, I, I have to go early Jiba. Like, it's just how it is. Um, I don't make the rules. <laughs> the issue is that I'm gonna be running around with, like, no, um, no items, unfortunately, because it's very early. But yeah, it's like it's like early Jiva. Uh, Jiva is not my favorite god by any means, but it certainly is really, really strong. Um, ooh, Iker stained hammer. Oh, oh, ho, ho. you know, like the stars aligned. I am. Um, I am a Maces user, and I just found the plus 11 BAMP hammer. Um, that's great. I wonder if this thing will eat... Oh, there's another one in there. Uh, I wonder if I should kill Gracie Youth. Nah, I'm not gonna be greedy. He's gonna be running around with my plus 11 hammer. That's a pretty rare thing to have, you know? Mm. That's a decent weapon. It's not the best, but it's the most jiggly. Uh, it's pretty great, you know. Like, it, I'm not saying that it's not my my favorite god because it's weak or anything. It, it is insanely, insanely strong. Um, I just don't like to go Jiba every time because Jiba deprives you of so many resources. Um, I don't think it will be much of an issue, but like, if you get Jiba early, you go Jiba early. That's just how it is. Um, No, it's not an unrandart. Uh, it's um, uh, the crazy youth bolt can place randart hammers, which are just reflavored uh, maces. As you can see, essentially equivalent to a mace. Uh, the game says, and yeah, it has just the same stats and everything. So just think that I'm using a plus eleven bamp mace, which is a pretty crazy good weapon for this point in the game. Plus eleven anything will be. Uh, a crazy good weapon at this point. Mm, I'm fine. I don't think I died from this guy. Another ogre. Okay, I have regen now. I have a lot of regen, by the way. Not only do I have the re the Jiba regen, but I also have the uh, regen from the amulet of regen that I have. Mm. So yeah, this will be an insanely strong character for quite a while. Uh, what I have right now will carry me until... Um, about D15, I think. Perhaps lore will be complicated if I um, if I keep what I currently have. Um, I can replace the skill mill for the leather armor because for practical purposes it's like same amounts of armor class. I'm gonna lose that. Hopefully it's not blinking. 
Yeah, it's a shame. Should have grabbed the scroll before taking the fight. Um, you know why I didn't? Because you are usually conditioned to uh, take the fight and then grab the items. What with Jiba is the other way around. Uh, if you care about an item and there's a jelly on screen, you better grab that before the jelly destroys it. Um, a helmet. Mm, Alright, let's put this on. We found Guardian Spirit, but Guardian Spirit is absolute garbage compared to Regen. It's like the worst amulet versus the best amulet. Um, yeah, uh, if you mean like the Jiva region and normal region, they stack. All sources of region stack with each other. Um, so as you can see, I have almost 2 HP regen per turn. And the more the game progresses and the more Jiva piety I gain, the more regen I'm going to have. Uh, don't be surprised if I hit 3 regen per turn. It's it's almost guaranteed to happen. Um, I'm going to be training, fighting now, as I said. Um, I could get Mindelay on the hammer, but I, I would like to get... Um, I would like to get fighting for a bit of extra HP. I think these guys have the same amount of HP as uh, old Palantonga did. Mm. What's up with this lava room? Weird. Weird bolt. Uh, okay. Uh, two pips of piety. My regen goes up to two regen per turn every time. Um... Yeah, I tell you, this is gonna be a crazy, crazy character. It already is a crazy, crazy character. Like, um, having BAMP, I'm not such a fan of having BAMP so early into the game. I don't feel like it is that strong. Uh, but it is. Co it did come with a plus 11 item. Uh, and it is, I guess I'll carry this for the resistance. Um, plus 11 item, I have 26 strength. I don't even know where I got all that strength from, but I have 26 strength, so I might as well take advantage of it. I wonder if these guys get only strength for level up, like ogres do, and that's why I have so much strength. Mm. You found Guardian Spirit good on Spriggan Fighter. Yeah, but it's a Spriggan, <laughs> so that's already like... Uh, it's like... it's not gonna be great. Um, um, Guardian Spirit is like only good on that specific kind of character where like you actually care about uh, preserving your HP and you are not using your mana um, and you have very little amounts of HP um, because like every character cares about preserving its HP, right? But there's better stuff for the purposes of uh, preserving your HP than um, Guardian Spirit. In fact, Guardian Spirit is like bottom of the barrel in terms of preserving HP for the vast majority of characters, I have to say. Um, obviously, Spriggan doesn't get as much value from... Um, from uh, normal regen as it gets from Guardian Spirit, but that's just like the exception more than the rule. Um, my helmet fell off because of horns, that is correct. Uh, I'm still carrying it, but um, I don't mind losing the helmet, to be completely honest. Um, we will be um, getting a lot of really, really good stuff from, from Jiba, uh, because of Jiba mutations. So I really don't mind. Uh, by the way, there will be like a Nork uh, Knight here. I don't think I should be too worried about that guy either. Uh, I think I can just like um, Mighty it. And I get double effects on the Might. That's going to be interesting. Mm. I'm glad that these guys don't have pole arms. This would be significantly more difficult if these guys had pole arms. Uh, Phantom Mirror. Potions of Flight, uh, File of Floods, Witchcraft Part 3 with Teleport Other and no other spells. Uh, it was a rather lackluster. Um, Bailey, did I get me? T did I get a potion or something? Hmm. No idea if I picked up any important potions here. Because potions could give me a quarm or a potion of experience. And the uh, Potion of Experience means that I get double uh, the amount of experience. I don't like how some Baileys give you boomerangs as loot. Like, the point of the Baileys is that uh, 
if you um like part of the rewards are the the boomerangs that the guys are carrying i know i've never liked that um anyway let's get out of here we already picked up everything that there is to pick up here mm. I'm not going to be using the boomerangs, so the reward is kind of worthless for me. Psyche? She doesn't have distortion this time, right? Because during the tournament I had her have distortion twice in a row. It was painful. Um, I think I may be able to use Usmancy. Hmm. Nah, I'm going to wait. Ho oh, oh, ho! I just one-shot her! How much HP does she have? She was a legit full HP. Um... 40, about 40, and I one-shot her. Oh, oh no, I didn't one-shot her. I one-shot uh, an Orc Priest, an Orc Wizard, sorry. No, no, I didn't one-shot her. All right, it's fine. Um, double effect or duration? Uh, double duration, double duration on Might. Um, it's not double effect on Might because you cannot get double Might, but on Potions of Mutation, for example, you get double. It's like if you rank two. Uh, for every potion, except for potions that like don't really stack up like that. Uh, I have fire resistance, so I can just kill you. Yeah, I'm not afraid of you, Maggie. Not afraid of you. Uh, it's a strange feeling to not be afraid of Maggie, but I will take it. I will also pick up the acid scales. Um, not for the resistance to corrosion, because Jiba gives me that already. Um, but because of the potential armor class uh, from them. They're not terrible. Mm. It's a shame that this guy ate something. Uh, let's see what we got here. Potions of invisibility. I think it would be nice if Jiva also identified your stuff like Ashensari does, because I don't know if you've already noticed, but I'm probably gonna run into some issues regarding uh, ID stuff. Um, poisonous vapors, interesting. I could do that. Um, I don't want to do that, but I could do it. Pickel, not afraid. Then fighting. Man, this character has been an absolute walk in the park. That's the only way to describe it. Um, this is what having a strong character feels like. From the very beginning, it's been strong. Ooh, Armor Boutique. That's a pretty good thing, because I uh, certainly need some armor that I can go back and get. Um, let me pick up some stuff before checking the shops. Um, I don't want to... Um, lose all these items, is what I'm trying to say. Mm. Alright, so I don't care about that. And that's a pretty good scale mail. That's pretty good. Um, we want highly enchanted stuff, because enchantment... Uh, like, that doesn't get reduced from the mutation that we have. Uh, I can also um, buy and put on the buckler, but I think it's more important to buy and equip the scale mail. Um, the impact of that will be felt almost immediately. Um, it's just more regen to add to the regen um, that I already have. It's going to get pretty crazy pretty soon. Um, oh, also, I didn't really notice when I did that, but I have a lot of gold uh, when I did the Bailey. So I think the reward had uh, something to do with gold, because otherwise, why would I have so much gold? Um, a vampire, a D9 vampire. I think that this time I'm actually strong enough to be able to kill it, or maybe not. Okay, let's try uh, Slimify, I suppose. Uh, uh, curing, because I'm an armator and curing heals me double. Yeah, okay. Um, that needs to serve as a reminder to everyone that you're not to mess with vampires. Like, that got pretty close to me dying. Just because I felt powerful enough to kill them, but, or to kill that vampire. But, yeah, vampires are just invincible. If you see a D9 vampire, it's unkillable. It, it cannot be done. Not even with a character as strong as this one. Um, this character has been, like, destroying everything, except for that vampire. It just is too tanky. Um, ooh, found some globes. That's nice. Um... I'm going to have to start re-identifying my scrolls. Back to 5 pips of piety. Um, the, the way that Jiva piety works, in case you don't know, is that you have exploration piety 
but the mm, but the piety gain is significantly higher compared to other exploration piety gods. So your piety goes up really, really quickly up until the point where I'm about to max it. 2.6 regen. Um, ooh, you're almost entirely resistant to further mutation and mutation removal. Um, almost entirely resistant means that Jiva can get rid of that for me. Um, but I cannot really do anything to get rid of that myself. Um, other than malmutating, I guess malmutations from like um, mm, from contamination, they can get rid of of that. But that's pretty much the only way to do that. Um, I know because um, canine did that in a cigarette once. Anyway, we are obviously buying these, and look at that, 16 armor class. I have 16 armor class now, and I have 3.4 HP regen. This is going to be a delightful character. Um, it's already so strong. It, it only needs, like, um, resistances, and we're set for the rest of the game, really. Like, with the amount of resistance that I have, or, like, uh, regen, sorry, with the amount of regen that I have, I can just, like, kill these death yaks. Um, like, they're nothing, I think. Yeah, just take a look at these. Um, what kind of D11 character can get rid of the death yaks in lure entrance like this? And emerge with full HP. This character is insanely strong already. Such a good seed for the purposes of... Uh, a strong, relaxing melee character. Uh, I wonder how I'm going to kill this character, if it ends up happening anyway. Another vampire. Um, mm, I'm going to use this potion of might that I have. They a potion, Vampires deserve consumables. They're just like insanely strong. Mm. 16 armor class, 3.4 regen, does the 10 things. Plus 11 weapon along with it. You hear a distant slurping noise. Yes, um... Uh, Distance slurping noises are going to be um, the Eden of this character, I suppose. I'm glad that I went Jiba. Um, I, I really am glad that I went Jiba. Because we haven't really gotten punished for going Jiba, of course. Not even because I didn't have enough money to buy that, uh, that armor that I wanted or anything. Um... This is insane. Like, um, this is how Crawl felt to play when, like, a couple of versions ago, 0 0.24 kind of thing, uh, is what I'm thinking. I wonder if I can, yeah, okay, this time I was, like, actually able to kill it. Um, it seems that that guy has uh, difficulties getting past 17 armor class. Not, not, not unexpected at all. Mm. Yeah, back when melee was really good, it was... it kind of felt like this. Um, kind of crazy that the stars have to align, so so I have a, a melee character that I consider to be this strong nowadays. Um, but maybe things are going to be changing, because I did hear a lot about um, um, 0 0.30 being the version of melee. Um, Hopefully, um, things that make melee less of a pain to play with. Um, I would appreciate some of that. At the very least, I kind of appreciate the changes that have already been enacted to make melee better, uh, which are not really changes directly intended for melee to, to be better, but are more like um, changes to, uh, to monsters that were pretty bad for melee characters. Like, um, you know, very strong melee monsters like Orc Warriors, Orc Knights. Um, I will immediately go into Slime 6 whenever I find Slime. Uh, since I have 6 pips of piety with uh, Jiba, I will get whatever artifacts are in there. Um, so that's, that has a very, very large potential of uh, improving my character. Um, not that the character needs any further improvement, it's already a pretty incredible character. Uh, but it's going to be even better if I get one or two uh, good artifacts. And since it's so early into the game, even things that are not like top-notch will still be uh, pretty decent for me. Mm. I should put on this shield. 
Uh, I have not bought the buckler, but I will buy the buckler eventually. Uh, I haven't unequipped the buckler that I started the game with, that's why I am able to train shields. And yeah, I think that we can take this to 15. Um, after all, I do have one uh, skill on it. Perhaps it's not the correct thing to train right now, however. Perhaps fighting, 15 fighting. Oh, Mindelay on this, 14. First Mindelay on the weapon. Ring of Willpower, oof. Phew, that's one less worry um, with this character. We we are looking like at a pretty strong character here, um, much better than the one that I had before. Mm. Mm, wickedly sharp and, ven and venomous, Barf. Trigger chance 35%, base damage 15. Base damage 15 is a lot, actually. Uh, it's the same damage that a Glaive does, um, just like for comparison. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it scales with anything. It would be nice if it did scale. Mm. Man, this character is insanely strong. Um, I wish I knew about my scrolls of blinking, and you know, like, the defensive scrolls, but... Uh, going Jiva will mean that I have to sacrifice some scrolls um, of Identify. Mm. I think that I should read Identify my stuff, not gonna lie. Um, this is a good character. Death by low willpower, maybe? Not anymore. Not anymore. Um, yeah. The previous character that I played should really serve uh, as a reminder to everyone once again that not having willpower will result in pain and suffering. Um, oh wow, my Quicksilver was died to um, the to the tile of um, freezing cloud that it was standing on. Mm. I think that there's gonna be more simulacra in there, so I'm gonna exclude that for a bit. Head bolts, tail slaps, uh, stingers, and I also have plus 11 weapon. I still have the horns. Yeah, this character is like a juggernaut of melee now. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a monstrous demon spawn. If monstrous demon spawn was good, of course. Um, I think that monstrous demon spawn cannot really be good because it loses so much. Uh, but I'm not really losing that much with this character. Like I am uh, pretty tanky and pretty strong. Like look at that, 21 armor class. Um, that coupled with the BAMP weapon, like. The weapon that I have right now, will I will win the game with this, like, I won't drop it, because it's very strange to have a, um, a hammer, a randart, well, a hammer worth using, let alone a randart hammer. Um, so yeah, this is like a once in a lifetime kind of thing to see, um, not to mention that it is already, like, um, it, it comes bundled with a bunch of other good stuff, right? It's a shame that it is drunk, so I cannot really provide a seat uh, for people to enjoy. Mm. Okay, Uruh, I should not be afraid of you. There we go, pretty easy kill. I think that everything will just be pretty easy kills. This is just an insane character. Um, just need, what, some barding now? Yeah, pretty much. Some barding, resistance to electricity. Uh, in terms of other resistances, I'm pretty set. I'm pretty good. Um, I have a ring of cold resistance. Um, in fact, I should drop this. I don't think we care about this particular thing. Um, amnesia. Blinking, okay. Uh, I have two more, so it's not the end of the world having read one. Silence. Mm, fear. Vulnerability, Enchant Armor. Um, I guess I should enchant the globes. Summoning... Butterflies, that's a pretty good thing to have. Uh, butterflies is better than Fogu for um, quite a bit of characters. Mm, it is especially good on characters that have the poison package. I've killed Rupert with only Scroll of Butterflies, Ignite Poison and Poisonous Vapors before. And it's just, like, oppressively strong against Rupert. Mm. But I can see other characters not liking Fogu. Especially, if, or, like, not liking Butterflies. Especially if you're intending to go to Extended. Um, it's pretty bad. Okay, got 8 strength. 
Man, this character. <laughs> I got 8 strength. Um, what's next? Rob Boss and Regen? Because that would just like complete the character. Uh, potions of Resistance is nice. Um, I anticipate that Sod is gonna be pretty easy with this character, with the whole double duration on um, on your consumables thing. We get min delay on the on the mace uh, slash hammer, so that's a pretty good thing. Mm, my HP is just straight up not dropping. Like, I don't think I I go to under two digits HP or like to two digits HP. Um, Whenever I de whenever I take damage, I just like immediately regain it, either from uh, the 3.6 regen that I have, or from the from the bamp on the hammer. This is insanely strong. Man, this character is a blast. Um, How fast are we going? Half an hour, and we're already at the bottom of Lur. Um, and we found slime. Let's go in. Let's go in and meet my uh, fellow slimes. Hello, fellow slimes. How do you do? Uh, something nice that Jiva does for you as well is that it makes you completely immune to um, the slime walls, so you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, obviously, you cannot kill anything here, and things won't be aggressive towards you because Jiva. You just got your first win? Congratulations on, on that. Uh, how long did it take you to get your first win? How many games? Mm, some pretty good gear. Ring of the Tortoise. Um, I'm using a Ring of Protection, so we can just upgrade into it. Mm. Ignis Regard. If I hadn't gotten such a beast of a weapon already, I would be using that plus 9 mace. Uh, it is a very respectable item. Mm. Uh, yeah, I can use a hat for the uh, for the head slot. In fact, I can go back to my helmet already. Deep of Conjurer, Champion of Behumet. Uh, what spells were you spamming? Let's take a look. You had Firestorm at 1% chance to miscast, beautiful, Crystal Spear, Orb of Destruction. Yeah, this seems like the kind of character that I would play. And I keep saying I'm going to play a Deep Elf Conjurer because Neuroactivo is like new player, likes Deep Elf, and I also like Deep Elf, and I have completely forgotten to do it. Uh, well, then again, uh, also like Armatar happened, so I'm playing an Armatar now. But I will be playing a Deep Elf Conjurer just to um, show it uh, in the future. You cast 968 times a spell for Servitor. That's an interesting spell to spam. Uh, if I was playing a character like this, the one that I would have cast the most would have been Stone Arrow, most likely. Um, when it comes to Firestorm, you cast it 28 times. Of course, you cast it towards the end quite a bit. Uh, I assume that's what uh, got you to beat Sot, right? Yeah, congratulations on that, Neuroactivo. Good to hear um, about that. I hope that you keep enjoying the game. The game has a lot of uh, juice in it. Uh, perhaps it's time to try something different. Um, yeah, pretty good character. Mm. How do I get to the exit? Okay. No, it only took you 32 attempts? Yeah, that's pretty good. Um... Back in the day, it took me many, many attempts to, to get my first win. Uh, it took me... Um, 160 something attempts? It was difficult to get my first win. But it eventually happened. Um, it took me uh, a lot of um, learning the game to to like get rid of my net hack uh, biases of like using Elvereth to completely trivialize any fight that I got into. Um, whenever I beat off more than I could chew, um, but I was also trying like uh, Deep Dwarf Earth Elementalist. That's what I got my first wing with. Uh, I was playing more more like characters, uh, characters that the community recommended to me as uh, beginner characters like melee characters and stuff. Things that were not really that complex. Um, 
and it didn't really work that well for me. I uh, eventually, like, it took me a couple of wins, and I always say it, but I uh, eventually found that my true calling in Crawl, like, the characters that I enjoy the most and the characters that I can win the most consistently, I think are um, very, very powerful, but very fragile depots, where, like, if I play it correctly and I don't make a lot of mistakes, I just don't lose because I... Because I'm powerful enough to to not die um, beyond a certain point. Uh, I don't feel like that with melee characters. I've never felt like that with melee characters. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think that if I had started playing with Deep of Conjurer just like you did, I would have won uh, much, much faster. Mm. But I eventually ended up winning anyway, uh, so it doesn't really matter. Mm. Serious characters was like one Minotaur and three Deep Elf Conjurers. Crawl says 31 games, not counting the win, but many attempts were on one afternoon. It was about 220 plus losses before you got a win. Yeah, I think when you found out the about the stream, when you when you finally arrived to the stream, uh, you still hadn't won yet, right? Um, am I remembering correctly um, regarding that, uh, Railbird? I like to think that I played a little bit of a part in that uh, eventual success of yours. Mm. Okay, uh, we sh we really have nothing to fear here. Like, I am uh, using a plus eleven BAMP weapon with twenty eight armor class and uh, three point six regen. Yeah, I can just hold down tab against these guys. I'm still not holding down tab because holding down tab is a dangerous thing to do. Uh, that will most likely get you killed. But uh, it's going really, really well, as you can see. Relief at last, you didn't die. Yeah, um, there will be many more you didn't dies for you in the future. Um, I insist, try something different. Um, I guess you can play more depots, but I would recommend you to try different playstyles to see what uh, sticks with you, what you end up liking the most. Um, or I guess you could go for 15 runes so you can see that part of the game as well. Um, if you need some help for building a character for 15 rune runs, I have um, several 15 rune runs in my YouTube that you may want to take a look at. Um, I... Um, I build the characters with like uh, specific spells, Shatter, Polar Vortex, Refrigeration, Ignition, Firestorm, um, those kind of very high level spells. I like Behumet a lot for 15 runes. Um, um, Gosag is also pretty good for 15 rune runs, because what Gosag gives you never like stops the scaling and you never stop like gaining money because Gosak turns everything that you kill into money so you just like amass uh, obscene amounts of money and you have access to haste and stuff all the time thanks to Gosak it's pretty neat mm. this junction came a bit hand it came in a bit handy in the end that's interesting I never really use this junction mm. it would be nice to find some good loot next time as the Epoch Conjurer you got malmutated once in all game in the ending. That's uh, usually how it is. Uh, malmutation is not a mechanic that you will encounter very frequently. Uh, nice minus five slay rope. Nice crown of light of a prova. You, you you had some pretty good stuff. Uh, one pip in every resistance. It's pretty nice. Man, mana regen. Uh, will power code resistance. Yeah, you had some pretty good gear actually. Mm. Certainly not the the role of Foley, but pretty good regardless. Um, anyway, congratulations. I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, it looks like a pretty good character, the kind of which I would like to play myself. Um, that's my kind of character. Man, this this is... On the other hand, like this may not be my kind of character, but it is only not my kind of character, because... Melee is not usually this incredibly powerful. Wow, this this run is not representative of what uh, Armatar will be like uh, for you. I have to, to tell you that already. Um, let me get rid of the dexterity for a bit. Because I need willpower to not die to these ogre mages. Um, 
I have not really gotten that many portal bolts, but it really is not an issue. Um, since we know that, um, I kind of need that. I, I just have so, so, so much crazy gear, um, that I can sit in the middle of a bunch of, uh, of a bunch of ogres and trolls and, and just like run and, and kill the ogre mage like it's nothing. Mm. The, the characters that I normally play with are characters that would have issues fighting two ogres at the same time. Uh, just to, just to like, um, put it in comparison to how like insane this character is. Mm. Did I get robust? Why do I have so much HP? I feel like I have a ton of HP. And I probably do have a ton of HP, but still. Do these guys get, get like plus one HP or so? Uh, hold on. They do get plus one HP. So not only do they get plus one HP, but I also get plus three armor class and plus seven HP. Okay, so they pretty much get plus two HP, plus 17 HP, I suppose. Um, I always said that that's what Palentonga needed. Um, and Armator does get that. So Armator is like what Palentonga would be if Palentonga was good. Uh, if Palentonga had ever been good, to be more precise. Um, I find it pretty funny that that jelly just like wandered into the fire and then exploded on its own. Um, that was pretty funny. Mm. These guys have plus two stealth, uh, funnily enough. What else would I like to train for? Perhaps uh, evocations. Perhaps evocations. I already have Mindelay on maces. Uh, or like on my weapon, I have 15 armor. Leveling up dodging is a full surround with this uh, species, I think. They have minus three and they have, uh, they're have they big, so not really going to be getting a lot of um, dodging. Mm. Wow. Wow, this ring. Oh, this ring is absurd. Look at this thing. Uh... Cold resistance, double willpower, four armor class, two strength, and it doesn't have a downside. Minus four intelligence is not a downside. Can you even see that ring in tiles? Let me take a look. Um, yes, you can see it in tiles. The moment that I have uh, 956 gold, that's uh, that's it. Like that ring will remain stapled to my hand for the rest of the game. Uh, hopefully, we can keep the ring of the tortoise around as well. Mm. Man, this character already has some pretty great stuff. It's um, astonishing. Mm, I don't care about... Like, I guess the globes are okay, but I don't, I don't care too much. School Crusher would be nice if I could use it. Um, Palentongas may be big, but they're not as big as Ogres and Trolls. Mm, or, like, not Palentongas, Armators. Man, what is this Armator? Look at what I'm doing. I'm just, like, holding down Taff, essentially. And it's killing everything. Um, why do I prefer to play console? Because that's how I learned to play the game. Uh, not only that, but I also like uh, learned to play roguelikes all together, uh, playing console. So it just seems clearer to me. Like the like the information is presented in a much more friendly way for me. Um, I played tiles once. The the video is on YouTube. It took me nine hours to win. Uh, because everything was so confusing and it looks so obscure to me. Um, so yeah, I just prefer to play um, to play console instead of playing tiles. Mm, let's get rid of this sorcerer before it does nasty stuff. It can uh, paralyze me, 16% chance, definitely not to be ignored while I kill the uh, the other uh, og the other the other orcs. Sorry. Oh, I have enough money to buy uh, the most crazy ring ever. This is the kind of ring that I would have loved to have on my previous character. Uh, it's just incredibly good. Uh, I can drop the Ring of Willpower knowing that it will be destroyed because I also know that I will never want to put that on again. Uh, not after what I have already. Uh, I, in a similar fashion, I can drop this leather armor. Um, beautiful. I have 12 armor class from my rings. Uh, I have all the willpower that I will need for the rest of the game. I have cold resistance as well. Uh, I am lacking resistance to electricity and fire resistance. 
And I guess a little bit of poison resistance as well. Chances are good that I'll be losing the Ring of a Tortoise for some of those properties eventually. Um, but for now, yeah, I better carry these. Um, better carry the Ring of Poison Resistance. Nah, I, I can drop it. I have a, a better one. I have th that ring. Mm, yeah, look at that. This guy has 10 dexterity too. I could reasonably level up, like, um, evasion a bit to take advantage of that 10 dexterity. Mm. But I don't know if I want to do it or if I care about doing it. Alrighty. Um, oh, there's a part of the level here that I have not explored. Um, there we go. It is accessible through these stairs. You found Mommy Earth Elemental is good in Extended, but it's hard to get to Extended. Uh, yeah, it's Mommy at the end of the day. Mommy is not something that I would recommend to a player after their first win. Um, I think that Mommy is very, very difficult. It's not like punishing or anything like uh, like Formis it is. It's just like painful. <laughs> That's the only way to put it. It is painful because you're gonna be so weak because your aptitudes are trash and your stats are trash and everything is trash. And you do get faith and um, and other stuff, but um, yeah, it's not it's not good enough. Is is what I'm trying to say. Mm. This time I have not had to run away from a single monster in the entirety of the game. Not from a single monster. It's it's insane. This character is something else. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Two armor class, two evasion. Not terrible. I shall take that. Oh, what is this? Heavily ruined leather armor. I don't think it's gonna be better than what I have, and it is not, so I'm gonna leave it right in the floor what it is. Mm. Oh, Rupert. Uh, I shouldn't be afraid of you, right? Perhaps I should be afraid of you. Only healthy amounts of fear. Um... Mm, I don't have fire resistance, so immolation is rather worrisome to use because I might be hurt a bit too much on the fight versus Rupert. I also don't have uh, Cirque, which is what I would like to do right now. I don't have to fear the hexes because I have so much uh, willpower. Even with the amount of willpower that I have, I still have a chance of getting paralyzed or confused by Rupert. Just goes to show how insane Rupert is. Um, Phantom Mirror? I did train a little bit of evocations, so yeah. My Rupert immediately goes Berserk, so I think that I just won the fight. Rupert dies. Beautiful. Um, should I pick this up? I think that I sh it's too valuable of an item to let the, item, the slimes destroy it, regardless of whether or not I'm gonna use it. Um... Mm, Only thing is low intelligence if you ever do switch weapons or more weird mutates happen. Uh, for me, mm, I don't think I'm gonna cast spells with this character. Like, I have 17 intelligence. Um, I could cast some low level spells, but like, do I want to cast some low level spells? Um, perhaps conjurations for like stun arrow, but that's pretty much it. And I also don't feel too compelled to do that. Like, the character has gotten. The dream kit for just holding down Taf, uh, so might as well do that. Like not fight my destiny. Um, dude, 3.6 regen per turn is kinda obscene. Uh, that's the only way to put it. Kinda obscene. Mm. Man, these fights. These fights are like bad fights for almost any other character. But this is just easy mode. Um, you could even call it streamer loot. Um, the kind of thing that... I, th I I guess this is kind of my reward for previous character. Yeah, it's like, uh, Kroll decided to throw me an easy ball this time. Um, I should buy that Buckler of Protection to increase my armor class a bit more. Do I need it, though? No, I don't need it. And that's why I'm not going to immediately buy it. Um, money is rather precious whenever you are a worshipper of Jiba, since Jiba just eats all the money uh, in the floor. 
So I'm not gonna buy it. Uh, I'm also gonna pick this up because I don't think I'm out of picking up scrolls of enchant armor. Mm, if I don't have to pick them up, I won't have enchant armor for later in the game. Mm, when you said that I had 8 intelligence and weapon was giving 4, so it was super low intelligence risk for a moment there. Really? 8 intelligence? Oh yeah, I got 8 intelligence from Jiva Mutation. <laughs> uh, Jiva Mutations are funny. They just oscillate widely. Um, it's like, this screen doesn't really matter that much because it's just good stuff. Uh, if it's good stuff, it's not as important as bad stuff. Uh, bad stuff you have to play around uh, and, and stuff. Mm. So I'm really good at I, I really identifying some uh, scrolls in combat, but I think that you read the scroll, then 1.5 turns pass. So it's not like the old blue division a mutation, which is pretty great uh, strength again. Mm. I'm not afraid of the frits. For a little bit, I uh, came close to dropping be below three digits HP for what feels like the first time this game. But very quickly, I go back to full HP like it's nothing. Man, this character is something else. Um, I'm gonna give in to temptation and use emulation here, though I don't need it. Mm. I need to position in such a way that I only get hit by one or two explosions at most. How is this guy not dead? Oh, a preserver. That's how it's not dead. Oh. How did it torment me? 4%? Uh, sure. I mean, I guess at least it happened uh, at a point where I was uh, almost entirely safe, so it's not the end of the world, but yeah. That was pretty mean. <laughs> Um, I was not expecting to get Agony there with two pips of willpower. Definitely not, but those guys are a bit too strong, uh, it seems. Mm. Yeah, this might be the most powerful melee character that I've had in in a while. And by a while I mean since uh, attacks... No, since monster weapon attack the changes were introduced to the game. They were added in 0 0.27, so yeah, it's been easily more than a year since I've had a character, a melee character that is this strong. Mm. Because I've had other pretty strong melee characters, but nothing like this one. Uh, that's a pretty good ring. I will carry that, because I don't have a source of resistance to, to fire. Mm. I think I saw Melia. Yeah, it's important to get rid of that immediately. Uh, since those guys move really fast and smite, they can smite me to death uh, reasonably. Mm, I don't see anything that I really want to pick up other than this ring. You can just let the jelly seat everything. Mm. Ooh, treasure trove and two guardian mummies. Let's stab these guys. Alrighty, what do you want? The Horn of Herion, that's free. I just have to, like, you know what's the most difficult part of, of going into that kind of treasure trove that asks you for the Horn of Herion or the Abyssal Rune of Sot or so? Uh, the hard fight is remembering that you have that trove and that you go, need to go pick up those items. Hopefully I will remember. Um... I'm not going to be able to finish this character today, I think, unless I manage to complete it in two hours or so. Um, what did I have? What do I have now? 8 Intelligence, 8 Dexterity, 12 Dexterity, 8 Shield. Not terrible. Mm. Okay, Fire Dragon, a nice dragon, and I need some Fire Resistance, just for safety. Do I want to lose 8 Armor Class, however? I don't. Um, I'm gonna shout to wake up the dragons. They miss me because for some reason I have a lot of stealth. I wonder why these guys have plus two stealth. Fire skills. Worth picking up since I don't have uh, fire resistance. Mm, no ice skills, unfortunately. But I'll carry the fire skills with me for a while. Mm. Oh, okay. It was a scroll of torment. It's fine. I can just walk away. Look at that. Look at... This is disgusting. I just read a scroll of torment and I'm already at a hundred and ten... Uh, yeah, like... 
the it doesn't even make sense saying how much HP I had because a couple of turns from then uh, from there and I just went back from a couple of turns from that sorry and I just went back to f to full HP. This character, look at this. This is disgusting. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I, I, I this feels like the kind of character that if a speedrunner was playing it, they would have already won the game. Uh, like in in an hour. Someone on YouTube asked me how people um, are capable of getting such massive high scores. But yeah, it's like the art of uh, turncout speedrunning. Um, it's nothing that I would like to do myself. Very difficult. Um, less uh, pointless than real-time speedrunning, in my opinion. I don't like real-time speedrunning. I don't like the idea of it. Um, but we are at D15. Um... We're at D15, and now we can go to do a lure branch. Um, we have Snake. Oh, no, I could also do Bolts, but D15 Bolts, or like Experience Level 15 Bolts, even with this incredible character, may be pushing my luck a bit too much. And by extension, I don't really want to do it. Mm, what I do want to do, however, is go buy that Buckler uh, of Protection to give myself three more Armor Class. It's gonna serve as a replacement for the Barding for a while, and it's a straight upgrade. I just didn't want to buy it because you never know when you're gonna find something crazy in a shop and you are not gonna be able to buy it with Jiba money. Um, I don't know if, if Snake is the right thing to do here. Uh, let's try it, let's try it. I have 35 armor class. It, it really shouldn't be that bad. Um, I like how the Book of Spatial Translocations has Momentum Strike, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, by the way, that spell should be on, war on the Warper start, uh, Momentum Strike. Let me put on some uh, resistance to poison real quick. Mm, I think I can lose the, the, the willpower for a bit. Uh, the willpower is good for Isu, however. Isu has a 66 chance to put me to sleep. So I guess I have to lose the whole... Um, I have to lose 8 armor class instead of 4. Yeah, so Isul doesn't kill me. Ouch. Okay, stop that. Um, it's fine. Like, I did take a little bit of damage, but nothing to worry about. I just region way too much for poison to be an issue. Uh, and I also had poison resistance. Better safe than sorry, after all. Mm. Do I care about poison resistance here? Uh, probably not with 35 armor class. Uh, it's crazy how, like, getting Jiva in that uh, sewer had the direct result of me having 35 armor class now. Because Jiva got me the Ring of the Tortoise. Oh wow, this guy has a Kite Shield of Protection. Good enough reason to turn shields back on again. Um, yeah, I'm gonna equip this. Hopefully it won't destroy my attack speed. Um, doesn't say anything about that. Does this say anything about it? Current attack delay 0 0.8. Ah, we can deal with that. 19 shields, by the way. So, uh, I think that uh, the way that this is looking, every Naga that I encounter will be very, very easy to kill. Unless it comes with a shield or with a band. Uh, we found another Ring of Willpower, but we don't need those. We're not going to need those um, for the rest of the game. Mm, pretty decent rings, I don't have money, so I'm not gonna buy anything. Um, yeah, this character, this character is something else. Glioglotl. Um, do I have uh, might? I have four might. We are gonna drink one for the purposes of dealing with Glioglotl, 
Hopefully we kill Neoglothu before he summons something truly messed up. Which he is perfectly capable of doing, by the way. Uh, he can summon Hell Sentinels, Ancient Liches, it's a meme. Uh, like, pretty much any nasty monster that you can imagine that spawns in the Abyss, Neoglothu can summon. Um, in this occasion, however, it didn't happen. And I am uh, grateful for that. Mm. Yeah, um, this is a very strange position to be in. I don't generally get to this kind of power with my melee characters. Um, what I'm feeling with this one is reminiscent of what I feel with really, really good mages. I feel like um, at this point, like the character is just so good that it is very difficult for me to make enough mistakes in a row for the character to die. Um, I attribute that partially to the fact that I can press tab and it actually does do something pretty good for me. Um, hmm. My HP is kind of going low. Oh, of course, you have a tower shield. That explains why you are not that. Um, fear? It would be nice to have. I don't think I have it. Do I have it identified, however? Mm, I have it identified. That means that I'm not carrying fear. I might want to read a teleport here. I think that I don't have to worry too much about um, potentially dying. Have I identified heal wounds? Because I feel like I may also not have identified that. Yeah. Potion of heal wounds, come on. And my stacks of potions are four metallic, which is probably heal wounds, and uh, a couple of others that I have two of. Not so common, in my opinion. Mm. Okay, just just a matter of waiting. Um, so the reason why that guy was killing me is because it had a tower shield. It's very difficult to kill monsters with tower shields. Um, I have one of Quicksilver, so the next time I encounter it, I'll be able to just use the one of Quicksilver to kill it. Mm. Robe of resistance, pretty strong item, but nothing that I particularly care about. How much damage did that deal? 43? Huh, surprising. Pretty good damage roll. Hmm. Okay, a bit surprising that the Guardian Serpent didn't um, surround me with, with all these guys. Ah, Scarf of Resistance, that's a great find. Mm, that solves one of my serious issues with this character, uh, the worrisome lack of fire and cold resistance. But now I have one peep of fire resistance, so yeah. Uh, that will most likely stay with me for the entirety of the game. Manual of Pole Arms, Embroidered Cloak, it's not going to be better than, why, than uh, the Scarf of Resistance. So I don't worry too much uh, about that. Mm. Ajiba gives me three pips of uh, resistance to hexes. Now I'm straight up immune to hexes for the rest of the game. Um, it's fine. That can that one can go away, and I would be I wouldn't mind personally. Mm. Yeah, right now I don't have any mutations that I'm particularly attached to. Uh, all of those could be removed, and I would be perfectly fine with that. Mm. The shield is nice. Um, the disarming of opponents is also nice. In fact, I would like to get rid of the 8 intelligence. Um, I would like to replace that with some other mutations. Um, okay, so I know the 4 metallic is, is heal wounds. I'm not gonna identify it then. We found mana. Um, Do I have enchant weapon? I'm not carrying enchant weapon. I should turn on the auto pickup um, because uh, I might want to upgrade from the maze that I have right now. Um, at some point, I'm I'm probably gonna want to upgrade from it at some point. Mm. Let's see here. We have uh, nothing really uh, to upgrade to. The best thing we have is the plus three flail, but it's not gonna be there because Jiba. Um, should I go in there immediately? Probably not. Probably not. I do have a manual of pole arms, so perhaps grab that and get like a demon trident at some point, perhaps. 
Mm. I wonder what happened with the dude with the tower shields. Mm. It's gone. Perhaps I just didn't encounter it after I teleported. Mm. That guy was pretty nasty. Monsters with tower shields as a whole are uh, the best way to kill melee characters. Um, because tower shields are just so powerful versus melee characters. All shields as a whole. Mm, this would be a good time to have um, manual of throwing. Uh, I'm gonna get the money. It's pretty lackluster amounts of money, but I feel like I need to get it. Okay, this is my first encounter with a monster that can hit me with electricity. I'm gonna use charming. I have a 60% chance to succeed. Fails. And doesn't fail. Okay. I'm gonna walk away from it. Uh, just a teeny tiny bit. Okay, look at that. Beautiful, right? Um, you kill the shock serpent. Okay, I don't want the uncomfortable rashes. Not in this character. Um, so I'm gonna leave that on the floor. Mm, pretty good. Pretty good so far. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about this character, other than there's one thing that I am lacking now. Only one thing, and that would be uh, resistance to electricity. I can win the game with what I have if I find resistance to electricity. Mm. That is not to say that I wouldn't like to also find a better weapon and other things, uh, but I could see myself winning the game with a plus 11 maze, like if I really needed to, uh, I would prefer not to do that, because at some point the maze is going to start showing its um, very low damage rating, and we're approaching that point. In fact, I think it may be carried by the enchantment um, uh, right now. Okay, let's take a look. Um, another scroll of identify. Oh, we have attraction. I was sure those uh, for that four stack was gonna be heal wounds because heal wounds is not uncommon. Um, the game says that it is a common um, potion, but unfortunately, it hasn't really been the case. Uh, by the way, uh, the fact that I don't have that many experience of bokeballs makes me wonder if the slimes have been eating them or so. Can I go into Elf? Sephir Mancers would be rough. I don't think I want to go to Elf yet. Okay, that's pretty funny. Snake 4. I have one map. Yeah, I have one magic mapping. I am not going to use it to map Snake. I want to see what layout I get, but I also cannot afford to waste it like that. I have six charges of digging, though. Uh, in this situation, I can probably make myself a little bit of a kill hole uh, to avoid having to fight all of these guys uh, at the same time. Mm. And there we go. The damage uh, greatly decreases once I'm only fighting one monster at the same time. Mm. I miss my dexterity. I wish I had more dexterity. It, it is kind of noticeable now that my dexterity is low. Okay, none of these guys have shields, so I can just press staff and actually beat them. Mm. Hmm. It's not going so well. Um. Okay, we got rid of the Guardian Serpent. That's the main thing that I was worried about, the Guardian Serpent. Okay. Doing pretty well so far. Another tower shield of protection. I might be interested in picking that up uh, for personal use. Mm. I mean, eventually. But regardless, I probably shouldn't be having the guy with the tower shields because it's gonna be very, very difficult for me to kill it. 
And it's you, right? Okay. Um, we have 71 charges of flaming. I guess we'll have to use Quicksilver. Quicksilver seems like the easiest way to get rid of this guy. It's almost dead, so I just decided to try to finish it off with melee, and it does work. Okay, so now I have a collection of weapons, of items of protection. A buckler, a kite shield, and a tower shield. Um, now that I also have fire resistance, I can probably drop, the, drop a couple of these things. Um, this will go away, this will go away, and the buckler will also go away. I'll keep the fire skills around, since they're kind of rare. Um, and I might want to equip them. Like, taking a look at these... Uh, it doesn't make, um, or it makes sense to want to replace my scale mail with fully enchanted far scales at some point, since I have, um, since I have two pips of cold resistance. Uh, however, I think that I am likely to wear either storm scales or uh, gold scales for the end of the game. It's uh, my go-to armors for melee characters, uh, but I just don't get to play melee characters that often. Um, or good melee characters anyway, the kind that actually wants to use those items. Um, I think that I may want to read teleport here. Something makes me think that reading teleport here might not be a terrible thing to do. Uh, by the way, I absolutely despise guardian serpents because they do this kind of thing where you are out, where you out explore into being in this kind of situation. Um, and then this kind of situation tends to kill characters. I don't think I'm gonna die here, but it will be kind of painful. Um, geez, I'm taking so much damage. Um, it would be nice to have heal wounds. The The main attraction of being uh, one of these guys is the fact that heal wounds is so good for them. But I just don't have it. Uh, this is pretty bad, because I don't have um, the resistance to electricity and I'm at half HP. I also don't have fear nor a good way to get rid of this guy, no hex wand, I only had two charges of um, of my hex wand, which is charming this time. I guess I'll have to use a potion of resistance to, you know, avoid dying. Uh, I, could also, I could have also used uh, something else. I have uh, Jiba, so... Uh, Jiba is not only regen, passive, passive regen and great mutations. Jiba is also slimify and uh, ooze mansi, I should use those. Hey, I got 8 strength, that's nice. How's my dexterity looking? 10 dexterity, I'm okay with that. Uh, teleport trap, alright, we're reading teleports. Fortunately I have teleports to, you know, not have to deal with these. Alrighty. Uh, it seems like a very traditional snake ending, just full of snakes. I hate uh, snakes ending, uh, snake endings because of that. Not a fan of the um, of the design of snake of just like monster spam. Uh, by the way, it may be obvious uh, if you're paying attention, but there's been some situations where I've definitely taken advantage of the role to reposition mid combat whenever I see a monster that's like far away from me. Uh, the same way that I would use Blink Bolt on a character that is using Storm Form. Um, So yeah, if I was to take off the intelligence uh, weapon that I have right now, uh, things could get kind of tricky. Mm. Perhaps it's time to get more fighting. 21 fighting. I do like the HP. Um, this character has been an absolute delight so far. Um, I just like having the ability to actually kill things. And I feel like this character achieves that uh, very well. Mm. That's a lot of Guardian Serpents. And not a lot of Scrolls of uh, Fogu. You know, I have zero because this game I got Butterflies. Um, thinking about it, perhaps Butterflies wouldn't be the worst thing to do here. Because it would let me not be surrounded by stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get rid of, of the Guardian Serpents. There we go, we succeed. Hopefully that's it when it comes to Guardian Serpents. I don't want to see any more. Mm. Alrighty. Let's regen to full HP real quick. And by real quick I mean like wait 5 turns pretty much. Whew, look at that. 
Lots of poison damage. Um, do I think that kind of thing will happen again? Not really, but I should play it safe. Oh, my Quicksilver is just destroyed in Nagaraja, that's convenient. Jiva is so strong. Oh, you can, you can. Uh, the things that are grayed out are things that are not necessarily recommended by the game. You can just do whatever you want. You can start any kind of, any combination of stuff uh, you can start. Mm, some of them will be pretty bad, but most of them, like, are playable. Some of them being really good, even though they're not recommended. Mm, back in the day, Ogre uh, Venom Mage was not recommended, and it was uh, an absolute beast of a combo. Um, getting all the advantages of Ogre with all of the advantages of starting with Poisonous Vapors and Ignite Poison. Man, I cannot believe that ever was in the game, because it's so strong, like... It's so, it's so strong, you can use it in, like, SOT and stuff, and it is fantastic. Yeah, uh, that's what it means. It's things that are recommended versus things that are not recommended. Mm. And we're done with Snake. Uh, very easy Snake. Let's go to Shoals now. Hopefully we can find something good in Shoals. Mm. What does Mesa's cross train with? Axes and staves. Uh, I'm just wondering because it might be in my best interest to eventually replace this weapon. Oof! Okay, finding a guy with silver jabs uh, at the very beginning of uh, Shoals is not the greatest thing because I have a ton of mutations. Yeah, that could be painful. Um... Okay, let's see if I can kill it before it kills me. I could also slimify it. So if I was to drop below like um, 100 HP or so, I would have slimified that guy. What do you have? Nothing. Ah, I disarmed this guy. Man, the disarming slime is so nice. Mm. I think it would be funny if the slimes that... Uh, or like if the disarming slime mutation just destroys the weapon instead of leaving it on the floor. As in the jelly attached to your body eats the weapon that just struck you. Jiva um, accepts your like your sacrifice or whatever it says when whenever you kill something. You know, with those gods that give piety for killing things. Um, something like that. Anyway, this is a lot of Cyclopes, but I don't have anything to fear when it comes to Cyclopes. Mm. Oh, what, what were those guys carrying? Nothing. Uh, I'm sure there was something good in there. Probably a tin of Tremor Stones, considering how there were a bunch of dudes that throw stones or rocks. Um, but the jellies got to it before I did. That's a bit of a shame. Mm. It would be nice if I found um, heal wounds, you know? I have not found a single potion of heal wounds in the entire game with my Armatar. Should I be complaining, considering what my Armatar is capable of and what it has? Probably not, but I still would like to have uh, potions of heal wounds with my Armatars. Um, that's kind of the whole gimmick of the species. I wonder how Armatar works with Cryos Melkoth. I wonder if they just like legit heal to full HP with a single potion of heal wounds if they have uh, Cryos Melkoth. Because Cryos Melkoth heals you a lot. Um, and they already heal a lot from potions, right? Perhaps one of these days I'll manage to find the, that combination of things. Mm. Okay, that uh, is looking like it's going to be annoying. Ouch. Okay, it's fine. Mm. Oh, I've been wondering about why it's, it's seemingly lasted forever, this potion of light, but it is because I am uh, an armatar. Yeah, like, getting used to that uh, part of their gimmick is gonna take a while. I haven't really engaged too much with it, but it is certainly convenient, uh, the extra duration on potions. Mm. Okay, very eventful. Um, Shoals 1. 
Wow, I got blinked back into Roxanne. Please don't blink me towards you. Okay, she didn't do it. Um, it's pretty scary when you're in the vicinity of Roxanne as a low evasion character. Um, because she just crystal spears you and then you explode. Mm. Do I have a port? I don't. Okay, it would be nice to have a port to pull all of that stuff uh, that Roxanne is uh, standing close to. Mm. But it's fine. No? I'm gonna drink a potion of light because I'm stuck in this part of the level unless I want to step into line of sight of Roxanne. And I don't want to. I'd rather avoid that. Scroll blinking. Well worth risking my bacon. Um, okay. Oh, I see two scrolls of identify. I also want that. I don't know where they are though. Ah, they're over there. Uh, can I please escape, Roxanne? Please let me escape. It wouldn't be so bad were it not for the bird droppings. Understandable. Um, I think being a, a statue in Shoals is not the end of the world. But it probably is pretty bad. Um, because at the end of the day you are a statue. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm trying to pick up my scrolls. Oh, I'm starting to lose my buoyancy. Okay, I'm safe now. I feel like I'm pretty safe. Let's read these identifies. Finally found heal wounds. And noise. Okay, not very nice to get a scroll of noise. We don't really have a lot of use for that. Um, Alrighty. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. My little foray into um, Roxanne's uh, domain. There was never even... Like, the thought of trying to kill Roxanne, she's kind of too powerful and too dangerous for me to, to try to take her on. Um, so that's why I didn't try, but the scrolls of Identify were important. Um, better to get to them before the... Um, before the jellies got to them, I, I, I mean... Okay, the Kraken got absolutely destroyed by this uh, scroll of poison. I knew that the Kraken was gonna summon tentacles, and the tentacles would then get poisoned. That's why I used it before anything happened. Um, it might be something that you may want to copy with some really strong characters. Not with um, low armor class characters, because unless you have poison resistance, you cannot really move uh, whenever you do that. But it is a pretty cool, a pretty cool technique. I've definitely grown to like uh, Scroll of Poison quite a lot. Um, I wish I had another one right now, though, for, for Il Suiu. Mm. Yeah, let's go downstairs. I don't want to fight Il Suiu. Let's exclude that. Um, it's not that I think I can't kill Il Suiu, it's just that it is kind of annoying to, to fight so many monsters in the open at the same time. Um, not what my character excels at, after all, my character is not a a Nax user. Mm. It's a bit of a shame that these guys have minus two axes. Like, um, the developers really don't want you to use axes with these guys that would get a lot from picking up and using axes. Um, it's uh, almost guaranteed to be because of that, uh, that these guys have bad, a bad aptitude on axes. Because like it would just synergize too well. So having it be minus two, the aptitude for axes, makes it... Um, makes it not a no-brainer to go for axes, I guess. Um, boomerangs of dispersal, we don't need those. Okay, this time I don't get destroyed by the silver jabs, that's nice. I've been thinking about picking some silver jabs up, um, but... I haven't really been doing it, and I think at this point the ship has already set sail. Uh, not to mention that throwables and Jiba don't really synergize um, like at all, since Jiba will just constantly be destroying your throwables. Um, so perhaps not. 
Snake forced a lot of consumables out of me um, because Snake is just a ridiculous branch with ridiculous things. Mm. Yeah, I am not a big fan of getting surrounded in Snake, um, like, spontaneously. Mm. What do you have? Silver jabs. Kind of dangerous. Yep. Okay. All right. I was very close. Like, one more hit and I would have tried to turn that guy into jelly. Um, into a jelly, I mean. These guys seem large enough not to fumble on water, which is a pretty good thing. Uh, I'm glad that these guys don't fumble on water. I see um, a box of beasts. That's a pretty good uh, experience of Bokobo to have access to. Box of beasts are definitely um, high value. I don't really use them that much, but you can get some pretty crazy strong things out of them. Mm, better get rid of the sea snake before it poisons me to death. Uh, I don't want to have to use curing for that. Mm. I have so much regen that the barbs are barely noticeable. I still have 3.6 regen, almost 3.7 regen. So there's some turns where I regen 4. In fact, uh, quite a lot of turns I regen 4. And the turns where I don't regen 4, I regen 3. Uh, how about you don't kill me, Nicola? I have a potion of resistance right here for you. Mm. Killing Nicola with a plus 11 maze. You kill Nicola. Okay, what did you have? Plus 2 cloves. Those are for me. Um, I don't think I care about the cloak. The cloak is unbranded. Alrighty. Slight upgrade. We take it. We take it indeed. Mm. Ruined maze. It's a maze of draining that doesn't compare with mine. Oh, I still have potion resistance. Man, the, the potion duration really is crazy. Um, with Armatar. It's a nice thing. Mm, you know what this reminds me of? The extra potion duration that Armatar gets? It reminds me of the... Um, that's the rune. Yeah, I know that's the rune. Um, molation would be nice. Condenser Bane. Um, it reminds me of the Ignis Armor skill. Yes, it, that's what it reminds me of. Um, I think the similarities are uh, very obvious. Like, the Armator uh, turns every every potion into the ear into the Ignis Armor skill, where it like makes it last forever, which is a pretty good thing. Mm, I would consider that to be very strong regarding uh, Armator. Okay, those guys took a lot of damage from from that um, Usmansi. So much, in fact, that a single use of um, um, Ice Blast got the job done here and killed a ton of them. Uh, unfortunately, I had to give up my position, um, and now I am surrounded by a bunch of dudes. You're at full HP and you're pretty bad. I'm just gonna Slimify you. Shh, I took a lot of damage from that. Hmm. That was unexpectedly large amounts of damage. Um, those guys got some pretty good rolls. Okay, fortunately the the slime that I just created didn't come in here to eat the loot. I wanted to check it before before it just went away, but it's nothing that I particularly care about. Um, I think it's uh, definitely worth checking the rest of these to see if we can get some, uh, yeah, something like this Phantom Mirror. Uh, I already have one, right? That's why it didn't get picked up. Um, yeah, I already have one. That's a bit of a shame. 
I could have used a new one, a new experience evocable. Uh, Condenser Bane or Team of Tremor Stones would have been nice. Um, the lack of resistance to electricity is making me hesitate when it comes to going to Elf. But at this point, um, I'm going to have to go to, to Bolt now, I think. I already exhausted most of the other experience that the game has to offer. Mm. By the way, I have three runes now, so if I wanted to, I could just win the game. Uh, one of them I got for free, uh, so it doesn't really count. Great mace is an interesting uh, thing to to consider. It's a pretty good weapon, uh, definitely amazing with my 13-9 strength. I wonder if I can carry it. Okay, I can. Um, oh, there's a... There's a bazaar. There's a bazaar here. Um, I don't have that much money, but I still want to go into the bazaar. I uh, will try to find it manually because I don't. I only have one magic mapping, and you know what it is with magic mapping and me. If I use it, I would have to do sort without magic mapping. I'm pretty sure, and that's just a recipe for pain and suffering that I don't really want to be in the receiving end of today. Mm. I think it's probably over here. No. Oh, it's looking like it's over here. Yes. Ooh, guarded by Donald. Um, Donald has no shield? Okay, so why is the line of things that Donald has didn't mention the shield? Interesting. Um... Your tendril slash around Donald's plus three broad axe of holy right and pull it to the ground. Beautiful. Uh, good luck dealing any amount of damage now that you don't have a weapon. Um, I guess he can still punch kind of hard. Huh. Donald drinks a potion? Come on, I don't have that many potions of heal wounds, dude. Don't do that, please. Um, Alright. Let's go into this bazaar. Let's see what we get from it. I want to drop some things, but I also don't want to drop some things, because I know that there's a good chance that they are destroyed. Uh, I guess I can drop the artifacts, however. I can get rid of a couple of artifacts, and those ones won't be destroyed. Ooh, that ring is good. It's not a great ring, um, but it is pretty decent. It's a source of resistance to electricity. Um, ooh, two scrolls of blinking. Man, this, this bazaar is... Uh, something else. Also, yeah, like, we have to buy... Like, I consider the consumables to be more important than the resistance to electricity. Mm, nothing there appeals to my interests. Same goes for that. Same goes for these. And that's it. Okay, let's go back and buy stuff. Um, consumables and resistance to electricity. And that's it, right? Yeah, I can I can get rid of that. Um, delete. Your shopping list is now empty. Okay, so the consumables that I just got were actually a pretty good uh, thing to to have received because I was running low on on teleports and blinking, so I didn't have fear. Um, I wonder if I should put this on. Uh, it's fine. I don't need to be at 37 armor class. I always knew that it was going to be a matter of time until I uh, have to lose the Ring of the Tortoise. Mm, and it's just like a pretty good thing that I was able to use it for such a long time. But right now I need the resistance to electricity. Um, I could also think about dropping, or like not dropping, but replacing the scale mail with the fire scales to give myself three pips of fire resistance uh, without really losing that much cold resistance, but it is um, not a good thing to do. It would have a very negative impact on my armor class. It would it would be very, very hurt, so I don't want to do that. Uh, what do you have? Heal wounds and blinking. Those two items are high value, so unfortunately I'll have to open this. But I don't have to open it immediately. Mm, I'll come back for that later. Hmm. Great Maze of Holy Wrath. What's the Great Maze that I have? It's only plus two, so I can. I guess I can drop it. Mm. If I'm going to be using a Great Maze, I'm going to be using the Great Maze that's most enchanted. Um, okay. The Disarming is so impactful, by the way. 
Uh, this guy might vanish me, the one with the great sword of distortion. It's fine if it does, it's not the end of the world. Mm, there's also a good chance that I uh, disarm it instead. Uh huh, there you go. No more distortion for me to be afraid of. That mutation is broken, it's so strong. Mm. There was a ghost bolt with like crazy stuff, right? Oh no, that was in my previous game. There was a ghost bolt that had some um, pretty good stuff that we found super late into the game, but I didn't go in. Mm. Sometimes when I play two characters in the same day, they kind of mix together, and I forget which character had which thing. Especially because we're already kind of in the point in the game where I was when I uh, started the previous... Or when I started the char the stream earlier today. Mm -hmm. Ring of Mana doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, I'm starting to look forward to upgrading the hammer because it's just like... It's very clear that it's not gonna um, cut it for much longer. We're starting to encounter some stuff that, like, for example, these war gargoyles. Um, I don't deal enough damage to them, and I don't vamp off of them, so they're pretty scary. Mm. So Usman's is pretty strong, but I see that the guys don't really get corroded um, whenever I use Usman's. They, they only take the damage, which is a pretty good thing. Like, the damage definitely kills them. Um, I just wish they also got corroded. Perhaps it would be a bit too much. Uh, I don't like the idea of this guy multi-sapping me, but um, I guess I can move away for a bit. Do you have a polearm? You have a bardiche of venom. What's up with all these bardiches of venom? The nice thing about being a worshipper of Jiba is that Uzmansi lets you move. Um, I wonder if my box of beast beast will be uh, hurt by it. It it is hurt by it, and by extension, it immediately went away. Okay. Good thing to know about. Anyway, it doesn't seem like we're winning these, so I'm gonna read a teleport. I don't think I die too, but I don't think I'm winning this. Uh, yeah, this is fine. I can regen real quick because, you know, Jiva. How is my turn count looking? 25,000 turns, and I already have three runes. Mm. This is a lot of dudes. I don't think I have to be too afraid of them, but I would like to get rid of the Yachter Captain first. The Yachter Captains are the ones that do the bulk of the damage, uh, more often than not. Alrighty, I want the Brand Weapon. I want to pick that up. I may, I may give it some use in the near future. I don't care about anything else. Mm, couple of wardens. Uh, kind of worrisome to be fighting multiple wardens at the same time, especially if they come co accompanied by combokers and stuff. Uh, also, this guy has a venom bardiche. Mm, so yeah, lots of really really good items. Morning Star of Pain may have to be my weapon upgrade. Uh, I don't know how much better it is compared to this uh, plus eleven bamp uh, mace slash hammer. But it is a one-handed weapon, so it doesn't require me to sacrifice my um, my shield slot. And I've gotten some pretty good stuff um, for my shield slot, so I really don't want to sacrifice it. Uh, I think I can drop the one of flame. I don't I don't really see myself using that item. It's not a good item. Um, it's only a very situational item, only good in the early game or out in shows. And I already did shows, and I didn't really use it anyway. Mm. Crypts. Um, maybe later. I have three pips of cold resistance. 
Uh, so this character has some pretty good resistances for the purposes of doing bolts. Uh, resistance to electricity and cold resistance make it so that I don't have to worry about either Convokers nor... Uh, no, not Convokers. Convokers you always have to worry about, but like uh, Frost Hearts or Thunder Hulks I don't have to worry about. Mm. The mutation that disarms monsters is incredibly strong. I think it is... Um, it is like very stealthy, but it is so strong because it just greatly reduces the potential damage that the monsters deal to you, um, which is a pretty great thing. Mm. It of course doesn't work on the elephants, but it's still a pretty nice thing to uh, to have access to whenever you're fighting monsters that have good weapons. And monsters in this part of the game tend to have a lot of good weapons. Uh, rendered hammer, yes. Uh, so how did Armatars get released? No fast spells, but longer potions? Mm, no fast uh, reading of uh, scrolls, but longer potions. That's how they are. Um, gonna get armor. Yeah, I'm gonna get armor to 21 too. Mm. Also, hello, Grief Gamer. Thank you for stopping by. I didn't see your message. Uh, I recently I changed my uh, streaming setup, like the way that I arranged the windows. Uh, and I increased the size of the terminal because I was running into issues seeing it. Uh, so now uh, I don't have the chat and the terminal in the same window. So that's why I miss messages or like I am less chat aware, or at least it seems to be that way. Uh, but I'm going to make some changes to, to fix that in the, in the near future. Uh, changes that include changing the streaming program uh, so I can put the chat closer to the um to the terminal that i used to play the game anyway they have uh double potion effects and hull and 1.5 time um or like they they take 1.5 um longer to read the scroll um yeah it's kind of like the old um blue vision mutation Mm, it hasn't really been an issue for me. Like, I've not noticed it really, like, at all, period. <laughs> um, I've not noticed it in the laps of this game. This character is also a pretty ridiculous character. Yeah, it's uh, insanely strong. Mm, better get rid of this guy. I mean, it's almost dead already, so might as well get rid of it. Okay. Uh... Okay, this is fine. I have so much regen that I can regen even through attacks of opportunity. This is kind of insane. But yeah, it's very obvious that uh, I'm starting to run into damage issues. Um, it is tragic. The time to upgrade the hammer is definitely uh, getting really, really close, and I haven't really found a worthy replacement. Like. Next best thing that I have is this Morning Star, and you can see that the Morning Star like does deal more damage uh, already, even though it is only plus one. But it doesn't have vamp, uh, and it also will be a significant hit to my accuracy. I guess I better start training for these for the eventual switch to uh, a slower weapon. Whether it, is, whether it is a Morning Star or an Evening Star, I wouldn't like to go to a Demon Whip. I'm not a fan of Demon Whips. Um, they attack faster, but you don't really take advantage of that unless you have a lot of slaying, which I don't have. Uh, also, my very large amount of strength benefits a lot more from heavier weapons, um, because the damage that a strength adds is multiplicative instead of additive. Mm. So uh, a higher base damage weapon will do better uh, on the hands of this character. Mm. Or will make this character do better, I suppose. Yeah, I've been liking Armatar, but that also may have something to do with the fact that the character is just, like, insanely strong. It's been insanely strong from the very beginning. It just has everything that you would want a character to have. Uh, I'm especially surprised about these guys having plus one uh, HP. Yeah, that's what blows my mind. I think that Palentonga needed a lot of things that these guys have. Um, so... Um, I guess these guys are kinda like Palentonga, but 
Um, yeah, the reason why people didn't play Palentonga, in my opinion, is the fact that Palentonga just like was bad, like straight up undesirable to play uh, Palentonga. It, like it, it was never something that you were looking forward to. They were kind of okay at best and horrible at worst. They didn't have HP. They didn't have uh, a lot of stuff that they uh, sh that that they should have gotten and that this this species does have. Uh, not to mention that they had bad armor skill. They had bad skills in almost everything. Um, but these guys have at least good armor. And good armor or aptitude is just wonderful. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to eventually finding a, uh, a barding. Did I ever find a barding? I didn't find a barding. Yeah, uh, I went to Snake and I didn't find a Barding. I think it would be nice if um, Nagas had Bardings. Mm, plate of Poison Resistance. No, it's worse than what I have. I guess I go. I will go down different stairs then. Convoker, okay, Convoker. Gonna loot you over here. We found the Borpro Flail, but it is it is worse than um, the items that I have already, so I don't mind too much. Glad that I have resistance to electricity for the Thunderhooks. Um, I may be sacrificing a lot of power versus a lot of other monsters, but I really, really dislike uh, ring juggling. It is one of my least favorite things in the game, and I wish it was um, removed or like the game was reworked in such a way that ring juggling wasn't necessary or wasn't optimal. Um, but I think it is it is very difficult for such a thing to ever happen. Uh, I don't even know how I would start to integrate that into the game, uh, for example. Mm. So yeah, for for bolts I will just not use the the ring of a tortoise. It's like a, um, mm, like a training uh, session, I suppose, because the more the game progresses, the more important resistances become. So the least likely it is that I'll be able to use the ring of a tortoise. It's just how it is. Um, hopefully I'll get the... Um, um, sorry. Hopefully I'll get um, a barding soon. Yes, yes, a barding. Important uh, for me to get a barding. Mm. Okay, you know what? Perhaps uh, for these guys it's best to fight them in a position like this and to use Usmancy. Um, this two tall white corridor will make everything and steps on it take damage from uh, from the corridor, so yeah. Mm. I should also keep in mind that I'm gonna lose um, some intelligence whenever I uh, you know, and eventually unwield my hammer. And yeah, rendered hammer, I got two actually. Uh, the other one is inside uh, Crazy Youth's bolt, and I don't really want to kill Crazy Youth. Um, so I haven't really gotten the second one. What is this? Ah, I don't care about Scroll Storm. I don't care about that Scroll of Torment. Mm. It's a pretty good thing that I still have not gotten, or that I still have not lost the disarming ooze mutation. That one is really, really strong. Plus three anti-magic great mace. Okay, my best great mace is plus three, so I think I can leave that on the floor. Even if anti-magic is a rare, um, a rare brand, I don't particularly care too much to to pick it up. Or perhaps I I should like replace what I currently have with that one. Um, 
Okay, there was a bit of lag in the server. I was about to ask if I was still um, live, but fortunately, the lag um, went away. Oh, hold on, hold on. I don't want to drop that. And yeah, I don't want to sacrifice my my shield slot, but uh, I might have to do that. I wouldn't really lose a lot from it since I only have 9 dexterity and by extension I don't have a lot of uh, shield stat. Um, it's mostly for the defense that it uh, provides me, like the 3 armor class is nice. Mm. I should probably just train maces to 20 and say goodbye to the shield and enchant the maze. Um, well, enchant it as much as possible, I suppose. I would also probably rebrand it, because I do value being able to deal more damage. On the other hand, I have 13 9 strength, and having anti-magic is probably going to be great for the purposes of uh, dealing with Orbs of Fire later on. So perhaps I should not rebrand it. Mm. Yeah, the magic is so good uh, at this point in the game. I think that I am going to, to do that, actually. Um, yeah, I wonder why these guys have positive aptitude for for shields if they have such bad dexterity. In this age of uh, shields are scaling solely of, the, of, of dexterity, you're not really going to get a lot of stat, uh, even if you train a lot of shields, just because... Dexterity is so important for the purposes of having good shield stat. Mm. I really like the whole uh, rampaging by default. Like, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it is um, it is a useful tool for disengaging in certain situations. Um, the roll thing was also nice, but this is, this is interesting in its own special way. Um, it's also not like the roll thing is gone forever. Um, it's still a thing that exists and that you can get access to if you really want to um, by casting the spell. Mm, so, plus one helmet. My current helmet is plus zero, so it is like paying 200 gold for a scroll of enchant armor. I would say that it is worth it. Let's go ahead and do that. I am full on, on inventory, so I have to drop my current helmet for this new one. Alright, that's it for Bolt 4. Um, we've been going at this very, very quickly. 1 hour and 51 minutes. Um... Hmm. I think that... Um... Perhaps I'll come back to this character tomorrow and finish it. A bit of a shame that I started it right at the middle of the stream, because with the way that this is going, I could probably finish this in three hours, but um, playing any more crawl than this for tonight is um, very dangerous. I may end up making uh, pretty bad mistakes and dying in ways that are easily preventable. Uh, tomorrow we'll do Depths and uh, perhaps Bolt 5 and Sod. I could also do Elf. In fact, I'm just going to go do Elf. Before ending the stream, I'm going to do Elf. All right. Let's see what loot we have access to. Um, Halberd of Distortion. I don't think that uh, the dancing uh, weapon can be disarmed. It would be funny if it could. But I'm pretty sure it can be disarmed by, by the disarming jelly. Uh, I think that the Halberd of Distortion will most likely banish me. If I get banished by that, then I'm not going to do the Abyss. Um, tonight. So we shall see how it goes. Mm, perhaps one of Quicksilver? Ooh, it just one shot that. That's convenient. How much damage does this deal? Six dice of nine. That's a lot of damage. Mm. Mm, it's 
Scroft teleport, very convenient. Um, hopefully the loot in Elf 3 will be nice. Uh, Elf 3 is one of the few parts of the game where you can be sure that you're going to see a substantial amount of the loot. Not only because the elves are likely to kill the jellies, but also because the, um, the elves themselves are carrying a lot of the loot, so the jellies cannot eat it, uh, which is pretty nice. Let's see what's in here. Money and heal wounds. I have not drank a single heal wounds with this character, but I definitely look forward to doing that and healing for like 40 or 50. Mm. So I'm training Mesos, right? Perhaps the time has come to take off the, the shield, so I have anti-magic for this part of the game. Mm. I should not drop that hammer. I'm gonna drop the kite shield of protection. If I really want to, I still carry the tower shield of protection. Um, Okay, six intelligence. Mm, I'm not gonna enchant it yet, but I will use the Great Maze for a while. Okay, damage rating 57. I have 40 strength, so it's perfectly understandable and reasonable that I um, that I am absolutely deleting things in the blink of a night. Wow! I destroyed the Tormentor. I didn't even want to, uh, but I uh, <laughs> I moved of, of like that in order to hit this guy to get rid of the Tormentor, and what happened instead was that I just straight up killed the Tormentor. Having Rampaging is uh, turning out to be pretty funny, I have to tell you that. Mm, and yeah, uh, with the way that this is going, I'm starting to wonder why I didn't do this early, earlier. Um, I'm glad that I decided to pick this up because it's being very useful. And yeah, I don't think I'm rebranding this. You stop exuding ooze? Oh no. I also lost my fire resistance. Mm. Oh, I lost my helmet. Just paid money for that, Jiba. Uh, I still have the disarming ooze, so it doesn't matter. Mm. Lost a lot of armor class. I was at 30, and now I'm at 24. How much willpower do I have? I have two pips of willpower. I think I could get rid of the... Um, of the cold resistance ring for... Uh, the purposes of... Um, putting on the ring of the tortoise, perhaps, for four more armor class. This doesn't sound like the worst thing ever. Um, but I, he I have to keep an eye open for the, um, for the willpower thingy. Like, if I lose my, my my willpower mutation, I have to go back to the willpower ring so I don't get banished. Mm. Okay, this has been going quite well. Um, this, this great maze will be uh, a great thing to have. Oh, wow, I almost killed that. And then it turned into a slime creature, and it became friendly. Desolation Assault. I could do that. I feel like I could do the Desolation Assault. Uh, my character is powerful enough and resistant enough to everything that I could probably do the Desolation Assault without a lot of complications. It has a non zero chance of giving me a Barding, since it has very, very rare items. Uh, and I could... Um... Yeah. Uh, not only can it have a Barding, it also can have Rand Arts. So I should probably go there. Mm. That was a strange situation where I took a lot of damage. Very unexpected, um, I have to tell you that. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna go in. I hope that I don't die. These things are obscenely expensive. I don't have enough money to, to buy anything there. Um... Okay, let's see how this goes. Better be careful. Um, we don't want to be surrounded by the Guardian Serpent. Okay, we found the wall. The correct thing to go at it is to hug the wall. The more you hug the wall, the least likely you are to get surrounded. Mm. Then once we clear the entirety of like uh, the the entirety of the level that we can clear by wall hugging, then we do the middle. Uh, that's probably the safest way to go at it. And whenever you see a monster, you just walk in the opposite direction. Mm. What does this guy do? Steel Winds and Lightning Bolt. Yeah, it was the right thing to do to move away from it. 
So how have you guys felt regarding uh, Armator, if you have played them, of course? Mm. I'm interested in knowing what you people have to say uh, regarding these guys. Mm, because my first experience, well, you have seen how it's been so far. Uh, it's very much not indicative of the strengths of the species, apart from the few things that I've um, picked up and noticed that are like irrelevant of the character's uh, luck regarding its loot, like um or like irrelevant of the character's luck with its loot, mm, like the HP uh, and so like I don't have robust and I have a ton of HP. I have more than 10 HP per level, which is a pretty crazy ratio that very few characters get access to. Um, I consider that to be a really, really good thing, and I hope that they don't get nerfed the same way that Palantonga did. Uh, in my opinion, the whole reason why no one played Palantonga was because they got too nerfed. Mm. So this should just stay like this. Okay, it's a bit too many dudes. I'm slightly worried about this. Perhaps haste. I have 12 haste. I can afford to use one haste. Um, this guy has a lot of evasion. Mm. It also hits you and removes willpower from you, right? That could be an issue. Okay, we got rid of that guy. Hmm. These guys are pretty tanky. How much HP they have? Oh, 120, that explains it. They're mages, after all. Like uh, I would expect uh, these guys to to not be as tanky as they are, but um, but they definitely are. Woo, plus seven chainmail, very interesting. Sigotubis and Gr embrace. Um, nah, nah. Yeah, I like this. Uh, whatever I drop will be gone forever. Oh, no, I don't know. Ah, I can drop the hat. Uh, should I drop the hat, however? Mm. I can drop Amnesia easily. Uh, if I am carrying Brilliance, I can also drop Brilliance. Mm. But that's pretty much it. I shouldn't drop anything else. So I can carry this and one more other item. Unless I happen to stumble upon better items. Um, so far no bardings. But it's fine. Ooh, a ten of Tremor Stones. That's pretty good. Ooh, Rander Tamulet. That's also exciting. I have had my Amulet of Regen for quite a while. Um, it's not like I'm looking forward to getting an upgrade to an amulet, to my Amulet of Regen, but if that thing is an upgrade, I would be very happy to um, to use it. Uh, what is this? It's an Amulet of Guardian Spirits. Um, disappointing. The Ring of Day, okay. Resistance to Electricity. Um, I think that my ring is slightly better. Yeah, I don't particularly care too much about the properties that this ring has. Oh, there's the Tin of Thermostones. I'm going to pick that up right now. I have uh, a fair amount of uh, evocations, so I did want to have a Tin of Thermostones. Hmm... It's a good thing that I finally happened to find one. Let's take a look at this. Not terrible. If I was a uh, dexterity character, I would be happy to have found that. Man, this character is so strong. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. And we're done. Uh, I think we are good to get out of here. No uh, bardings, unfortunately. No bardings.
but it is perfectly fine. Um, we don't really have to worry too much about that. Um, I did get one cool item from coming here, which was the plus seven chainmail of willpower. Uh, this character doesn't really care too much about willpower, since fortunately, I um, Jiva has been providing me with that quite consistently. Um, but it's more, it's a heavier armor and it is more enchanted so if i was to switch to that it would just straight up give me better defenses um oof, temp, 10 dexterity but yeah like the sacrifices that one has to make for 10 dexterity are a bit too much i feel like the items that have plus 10 stats i don't think i've ever seen one that doesn't have some serious downsides um, and if I have, then I don't remember it, but it just seems to happen much more commonly that whenever you find an item with really, really good stats, with plus 10 stats, uh, it's going to have some bad stuff uh, stapled on top of it. Mm. Yeah, that's the kind of item that I probably wouldn't mind using if I was doing a Mega Seek. Uh, after all, Mega Sig characters have access to, to so much loot that um, it's not really that much of an issue for them to use loot with downsides because they probably have the perfect kind of loot to just replace the downsides with upsides. Uh, I probably shouldn't be doing that. Mm, let's go downstairs to off 3 Do I have more magic mapping? This time I have two, but I don't. I still don't want to use magic mapping here. Mm, I would rather save them for later in the game. Hopefully we will get um, a barding from here. That's uh, my main um, wish from this part of the game from Elf. Slime didn't really deliver a barding, or perhaps it did, but it got eaten by the slimes, in which case it effectively didn't do it. Uh, for practical purposes, I have not seen a single barding in the entirety of the game. Mm, hopefully soon. Hmm. Nothing there. Uh, those uh, armor shops, you know what, the, what armor shops should have? Uh, instead of having plain items that no one is going to buy at this stage of the game, they should have interesting stuff, like um, like bardings. That would be nice. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to wonder why in the world did I ever go for so long without using this great maze. Because it truly is destroying the game. Um, the character is, it was in a pretty good spot in many different ways, but the Great Maze made it so that it was also amazing at uh, hitting monsters. Mm, three shops. Let's take a look at this. Nothing. Ah, amulet of Acrobat called, re called Resistance Regen and Sea Invisible. Pretty great amulet. And nothing. Okay. Mm, done exploring. Questionable. Doubt. Um, okay, let's go over here. Oof. Uh, this ghostly deep of demonology summoned something pretty nasty. I'm glad that I went upstairs when I did. Mm. Okay, this guy is drinking my potions of heal wounds. Oh boy, okay, that's an item. That's an item. Like, um, if I was ever gonna replace my amulet of regen, I was gonna replace it with an amulet of double regen. Yes, please. Uh, now I have uh, 2.9. Oh, it's because it has an attuned. Okay, now I have 4.5 regen per turn. Jeez, 4.5 regen per turn. Um, definitely compensates any kind of issue I have due to uh, the lack of armor class, which is not really that much of a lack. Yeah, this character just has everything, um, except for a barding. This character doesn't have a barding. Perhaps it will find it right now, perhaps it will never find it. Regardless, it's okay if I don't find it. Um, I can tell you that much, it's okay if I don't find it with how insanely it's been going so far. Mm. Six is Cross of Enchant Armor. Mm, it's gonna be perhaps useful for when I find the gold scales. I do plan on using gold scales. Arga? Should I do that? I mean, I can go for Arga plus Tower Shield. Um, 
And it's not such a terrible thing, and it also gives me willpower. I could go for Arga. Is, is it a good idea? I mean, uh, regardless, I don't have to worry about picking it up, fortunately, because uh, it's an on Randart, so jellies are never gonna eat that. Mm. Should I use Sarga? Probably not, right? I mean, I already have uh, 20 mazes, and mazes are working quite well for me, so there's no point in, in switching. Mm. Oof, Leech as well. Boy. Oh, by the way, I got hit by a Crystal Spear and an Iron Shot, and I took 20 damage. I could have exploded there, like straight up just died. I'm um, glad it didn't happen. Mm, this is looking uh, kind of complicated. Like, this is getting kind of complicated. Mm. Yes, I'm not a big fan of what's currently happening. Okay, fortunately I went back up to almost full HP. Uh, but yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of just like spontaneously taking that much damage. Wow! Look at that, that's beautiful. The Sasur Jelly is kind of just destroying everyone. I'm gonna sit here and see it kill as many things as it can kill. Um, Alright, that was uh, pretty good. The Jiva passive is uh, so strong. Mm, at times. Spellbinder too. Okay, we could use a Spellbinder. But the thing about Spellbinder is that it's a Demon Whip and I don't like Demon Whips. Um, I would be much more inclined to use Sarga over Spellbinder. Um, the anti-magic part of it is nice. What am I failing to pick up? Because if it's one of the weapons, then I don't particularly care. Or the Potion of Brilliance, I also don't particularly care. Mm. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, so far we have gotten some pretty heavy hitters in uh, in the terms of loot, but nothing that I am truly, truly interested in. Um, the only thing that I really want is a barding. Other things would be nice, but I really want a barding. Nothing that I care to pick up. Let's continue. I don't think I fought the entirety of the bolt yet, but I uh, want to go in and, and pick up as much loot as I can before the jellies get to it. What is this? Boots. So completely useless for my character, unfortunately. Uh, what did I lose? Or, or I guess it's easier to just to take a look at this. I uh, lost a little bit of willpower. Important to notice that. I got acidic saliva. Nice. Um, also, I got anti-magic in all weapons. Your melee attacks may engulf your foes in ooze. Uh, whenever foes are engulfed in ooze, they don't... Um, they don't get the ability to cast the spells. Mm. Uh, that ring is pretty okay, you know? It's uh, probably better than the ring of fire resistance that I'm carrying. Oh, yes it is. Um, I don't know where the ring is, though. Oh, it's right here. Mm, yeah, it's fine. Fine. It also gives me poison resistance, which is a good thing. Uh, I got Bice Electric Charge for the rolling. Mm, do I care to get it? Probably not. Condenser Bane. I want to pick that up. Mm, mm, mm. I think I can probably drop this ring. I was only excited for it because it had uh, poison resistance, but now I got a better ring of poison resistance, so that can go into the floor. Not to be eaten, but not to be used either. No bardings, I think. No bardings. Alright, you know what, it's completely fine. I, I really don't mind that we have not found a barding so far. Uh, perhaps uh, there's some loot over here, but no, it doesn't seem to be the case. Alright, it's fine. Mm. I don't know if I care about Spellbinder or, or the other things. I think that I am a bit too... Um, 
enamored with the damage from the Great Maze. Like, it's been pretty good damage, and um, it's just not the same if I switch to using a one-handed weapon. I have 40 strength, is what I'm trying to say. So I think that's um, where I'm going to leave it for the night. Tomorrow we'll go finish Depths, uh, or we'll go do Depths altogether, and uh, we shall see how it goes. Mm. I guess again, I can also do a little bit of uh, Ghost Bolts if I find some. Um, let's see. We got some uh, Rune Door, Crazy Use Rune Door. Mm, I never finished exploring Shoals 2. And then there's that Ghost on Bolts one, which was pretty crazy strong. But I think I can probably beat it now. Go Bolts one. Oh, perhaps wait that out. Mm. Yeah, but uh, also, let's take a look at what's inside there. Maybe there is uh, good enough uh, loot in there for me to to want to open that, uh, or to go in there. But I don't see anything. Nope, 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 nope. Not good enough, um, so I don't have to worry about it. What I do uh, want before I end the stream is this. Because it has a potion of uh, heal wounds and a scroll blinking. Mm, in order to get that, I might want to use a potion of might. I only have three. Mm, I'm gonna not do that. Perhaps Cirque? Cirque might be a bit too dangerous. Oh, you know what? Uh, Uzmancy. Yeah, Jiva Piety is actually something that I can afford to spend because I haven't really given it a lot of use. I'm taking a lot of damage from these guys. This is worrisome. Mm, yes, I am taking a lot of damage from these guys. Surprising how um, how the damage just like happened out of nowhere. 40 and then 38, 22, 31. Yep, lots of damage, lots and lots of damage. Mm. Let's try to drink a heal wounds. First time that I drink. What? <laughs> I. I went from 95 to 143. Um, this is not only because of the potion, I have to say. It's also because I have 4.55 regen per turn, which is pretty nice, but it definitely contributes a lot, uh, the fact that I had the potion. Okay, so these guys are standing on acid next to acid, so they're gonna die soon. Uh -huh. The Bolt Wardens already died. And the ghost is also that. I am um, resistant to corrosion because of Jiva, so yeah, I can just step on the acid and it doesn't do anything to me. All right, that was interesting. Um, I didn't really use... Well, I did use one potion of heal wounds, which then I uh, replaced, so I got a scroll blinking for free, essentially. Um, we can go to Depths tomorrow. Mm, yeah, it's already time for me to stop playing this. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, you should consider following if you're not already following, and if you are, you can consider subscribing, you don't have to, and I understand if you don't want to, or you can't, but it does help me if you choose to subscribe. Um, with that being said, let's see who we can raid tonight.